Hey folks, this is Kalani. Welcome back to the 6.1 PTR, and we've got a few things I want to show you. Now, what I want to show you is this vendor. It's Sergeant Grimjaw. He is the guy who starts your invasions for your garrison, so hopefully it matches over on the Alliance side. Whoever starts your invasions, go talk to them. They are your garrison quartermaster now. So, as well as selling all the things for the invasions, they now sell quite a, a variety of things, including follower trait and ability retraining guides, allowing you to specifically relearn traits or abilities, which is rather nice, and then you have things which are kind of new. So these are rush orders, and as you can see, they're kind of interesting. Instantly completes five active work orders for the herb garden. There's one for the herb garden and the mine shipments. They're 300 each to complete five work orders. There's one for the barn and gladiator sanctum, 1,000 for five work orders. And then war mill and goblin workshop, once again, 1,000 garrison resources for five of them, or to complete five work orders. So that's kind of self-explanatory, but let me let me stop right here, because there are ones for these for the profession buildings. I know that question is going to be screamed at the screen. Is there one for alchemy? Is there one for tailoring? Yes, but you don't buy it off him. So there are new missions, and I don't believe I have them right now. I don't think I have them available. I don't. But there are new profession missions, which will award two and three of those items. So one mission will award two, which is two items which each complete five work orders, and they are about three hours long, I think, the mission. And then there's another one which awards three of them, so three items for five work orders each, and those are about four hours long. I'm not entirely sure if there's any requirements, such as having the building itself. I've got an inscription building, but I'm not myself a scribe, so I'm not entirely sure whether, whether I will qualify for those missions. But I do know if you have the profession, you have an increased chance of success. So I guess if you have the building, okay, you can get the missions. But if you have the building and the profession, you get the missions and you get increased chance of success. That's the way that I've read into it. So those are available, but only through missions. And honor. Now from there, things get kind of strange, I'll be honest, because these scouting missives, they cost 200 each, and I'm just going to buy a few to show you exactly what they do. I've already used some of these. So we'll go ahead and get a quest, which might look familiar. We'll get another quest. My quest log is full. Well, that's thoroughly disappointing. We'll abandon some of these just to show how many of these quests you can have at once. Which is kind of ludicrous. So all of these should look familiar because they're the 800 Apexes Crystal Dailies. And I have six of them active in my quest log. I could also go pick up the daily here, if I really wanted to. So, hmm, I actually have two Assault on Everbloom Wilds. I don't really understand what they've, what, what the plan is with this. What do you need? 200 garrison resources to get a quest to get 800 Apexes Crystals, which means if you have enough garrison resources, you could just farm Apexes Crystals all day with these quests. And I mean, there's a variety there, so you can happily pick the one that you want to work towards an invasion with, and kind of knock it down. So that kind of trivializes pretty much everything to do with Apexes Crystals being a daily gain. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't fully understand that. Maybe they thought Apexus Crystals weren't readily available enough for, for the prices? I'm not sure. Either way, that's what those those little missives do there. So if you if you wanna go farm Apexus Crystals, there's you know, no real reason not to pick up a missive and, and go crazy and then pick up another one and go crazy. Either way, Apexus Crystals are are a little trivialized, I feel. But that's what this vendor is selling. That's there's a few additions here. This could be really interesting. I'm wondering how many people will be re-rolling poor traits and abilities to try and get that sweet, sweet combo of Epic Mount and Burst of Power. 
But that's it for this video. If you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.